Hello, welcome to the sideboard one last time here at the StarCityGames.com Modern Open in Dallas, part of the SCG Tour, brought to you by Ultimate Guard. I'm Nick Miller alongside our champion, Andrew Wolbers. Congratulations. Thank you. You get this nice trophy here. Sweet. I'm sure somewhere Patrick Sullivan is very happy, stone raiding people into oblivion. Yeah. Now, you came down, uh, you got a work trip down here in Texas, and you came down from Minneapolis. Minneapolis, yep. What, uh, what made you sleeve up? bunch of stone rings. Um, I've been playing Ponza for a long time. Um, I've always liked the deck uh, and uh, the unbanding of Bloodbraid Elf uh, made it uh, a lot more consistent, a lot more powerful so you can get a lot of explosive starts and uh, punish people who are playing greedy mana bases and a lot of the people who are other, other Bloodbraid Elf decks also have greedy mana bases that yeah. are pu punished by the blood. Yeah, we saw the deck performing well online for the last couple of weeks. Yep. Here, you know, we finally get to see it really in action and just blowing everybody up. And yep. Blood Moon or Stone Rain or the combination of all that was very good. Uh, where do you see the deck in the meta now? You know, that the format has had a couple of weeks to percolate. You know, we see Jund everywhere, but yep. you know, how about the format as a whole? I mean, I think it's a strong deck. It uh, you know, pun punishes people for playing greedy mana base. A lot of people in modern uh, are punished by it. And uh, it just, when it, when, uh, when it runs hot, it's, it's very strong. And we definitely saw that, especially game two. You get to blow up the only land, and then yep. land the Trinosphere. Yeah. Just hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that uh, can lock people out of the game pretty hard that way. What did you think of the top eight when you saw, you know, the setup there? Did you uh, think you had pretty good chances? I mean, I like my first match against uh, Aldrazi Tron. Um, against Infect, um, it may seem like a terrible matchup. I don't think it's super unfavored. Uh, there's, I mean, Got, do have some tools to interact with them, and their their mana base can be can be disrupted a lot oh, yeah. by Blood Moon, and like the, it, it shuts off their Ink Moth, ne Ink Moth Nexuses, which uh, um, is a third of their threats. So, yeah. um, finals though, Storm that was one of the top performing decks of the weekend, probably the most well performing yeah. deck of the weekend. There were seven in day two, two in top eight, and a bunch in the top thirty-two. What'd you think of that going into the finals? Um, I was very happy to have dodged it all the way up until the finals. Um, I do not think it's a good matchup, and um, I definitely had to had to get some lucky draws or some unlucky draws by my opponent to, yeah. to get there. All right, going forward, uh, do you got any changes or anything you want to try out in this deck, or do you like it how it is? Um, for the most part, I like it how it is. I might tweak a few things. Um, I think three Inferno Titans might be too many. I might go down to two. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what else. Um, what else I'm going to change with it. All right. Any uh, shout-outs or anything you want to say uh, before we close out the show here? Um, not really. Huh? <laughs> no. Left speechless with the trophy. So. Yep. Yep. Well, you put on a great show this weekend. A lot of people got to see the power of this Ponza deck. A lot of people had heard about it, but now we get to see it. Comes down, takes the first open with the unbanning. So congratulations, Thank man. You. Thank you. Going to send it back over to Matthias and Ryan one last time here in Dallas. Congratulations again to Andrew Wolbers. Ryan, fact or fiction, something unexpected is going to win SCG Dallas. Well, everybody knows how good <laughs> Stone Rain is. What so. a great weekend. Congratulations again to him. Thank you guys for being here with us also this weekend. This was great. Modern's a crazy, crazy world. Anything could happen. <laughs> All right, next weekend we are off air, but our next broadcast is going to be two weeks right here on this channel. Ryan and I are going to be here again. For those who want to play, we are going to be in Cincinnati. It's going to be a team open. So you need a team of three, standard, modern, and legacy. We're going to have all formats. It's going to be great.